Hi, I'm Tom with GoMeasure 3D. Uh, today we are going to walk through how you would go about reverse engineering a real world object inside of SolidWorks. Uh, so here we have a 3D printed part. Uh, we chose this part because there are features on the top half that are extremely symmetrical and similar to what you might see in a machine shop. Uh, also we have on the underside a very organic surface. So we're going to demonstrate how easy it is to reverse engineer both uh, simple and complex objects but just with using this sample uh, 3D printed part. So um, you can scan or reverse engineer any part. Uh, this is just the one that we happen to choose. Also uh, with any of the scanners that we have you can do this very same thing using the Extract 3D plugin for SolidWorks. So it's all the same same uh, but I just want to demonstrate how we would go about uh, reverse engineering. So Real quick, I'm just going to get the top half of this part, uh, turn it over, and then align my two uh, positions, and I will save and export this into SolidWorks. So now that we have uh, the two positions of our part, I'm just going to pull up the aligned model here. I just want to check and make sure that I have everything that I need. We see we have the organic surface on the bottom of our part, and then on the top side we have our uh, cylinders and indentions um, here and there. So what I'm going to do now is save this project and take it into SolidWorks using the plugin Extract 3D. So now that we've saved the file to our computer, uh, we're going to open it up inside of SolidWorks using the Extract 3D plugin. Uh, we brought it in as an STL file, uh, but just so that you know you can use STL, OBJ, ASCII files, whichever that you need um, or whatever you're used to. Uh, also with Extract 3D, you can bring in very large STL files into SolidWorks and edit them just as easy as you see here. Uh, which is not another one of the great benefits. Um, also, you can easily grab measurements and inspect your part uh, inside of SolidWorks using this plugin. Um, and while you're sketching, you'll notice that he is quickly snapping features onto uh, the part. So there is a handful of features inside of the software that you use to kind of outline your part inside of SolidWorks, meaning that you don't have to organically uh, create these shapes. It uses the shapes that are currently on the scan file uh, to align to. And this whole process took maybe 15, 20 minutes uh, in its entirety. That is from the scan process all the way up to the completed model built inside of SolidWorks. So, I mean, the part is right around four by four inches and then maybe two or three inches tall. Uh, so just so you have an idea of, you know, the minor complexities of this part along with the total size took us, you know, roughly 15, 20 minutes to complete. And there are a variety of tools that you can use. Uh, you'll notice now we are getting into the organic uh, feature of this part. Uh, it's very easy to snap on splines just as well as uh, cylinders, uh, circles, lines. Um, this is all an automated uh, feature inside of the Extract 3D plugin. So now that we have completed our part, uh, we're just going to review the measurements and compare it against our scan file to see how close that we are uh, because we did make a handful of improvements. But uh, now that you see how easy it is to reverse engineer inside of SolidWorks using scan data, thanks for watching.